Hello, it's the Dark Knight back, and this time I'm going to be doing a video on um, generals for players that spend no money whatsoever, um, and you just simply do not want to get sucked into buying packages. Um, so what kind of generals do you get, and how do you get them, and what do you look for? So let's assume that the only generals you can get are ones that are in the tavern. Well, here's your tavern. Mine's at level 35, but... Um, Ideally, uh, you start seeing good generals regularly in the tavern. I notice around level 27, which is the level that you normally have for, um, you know, keep level 27, stables level 27 to make T11. Uh, so basically, um, yeah, so, so get your tavern to at least 27 before you even start looking. Really, you want it at 30, 33, 35, the higher the better, but get it as high as possible before you actually start, because if you start refreshing using gems and your tavern is low, you're literally just burning up gems for no reason. You're just killing yourself. So let's just hit tavern, and then we're going to hit recruit. If we go to portraits down here, it will show us all the available generals. Um, you can click on each one and see what their buffs are. You know, let's say I go to Europe, the first one. Let's say I want to see what Roland, I can just click on him. Um, it tells you how much gold he costs. It tells you the, the buffs that he has, the special skills when it's maxed out. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of... Um, hold on one second. This thing is in the way. My screen recording thing. Okay. All right. So, basically... Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to check these two boxes here because it's a warning is going to pop up and you don't want any purple generals. You certainly don't want white generals. When I mean white, here's an example of a white general. The, the dot is white and their name is white. A green general looks like that. Green dot, green name, blue general, blue dot, blue name. You don't want any of those type of generals. You also don't want purple um, or gold unless it's historic. Uh, so purple generals, there could be a regular purple one or historic purple. I'll show you the difference. Also gold, there's regular gold and uh, gold historic. You only want gold historic. That's why you click that box for gold. Epic is, is another name for gold. Epic general, gold general, same thing. Historic general. So you want an epic historic, a gold historic. That's the only type of general you ever, ever want to buy in the tavern. Don't buy anything other than gold historic. Uh, so what you're going to do is hit refresh. Yes, it costs gems. So here's an example of a purple historic. If it has a crown on it, a little tiny crown right here above the, um, you can see right here uh, where I'm trying to tap, right above that little purple circle, there's a crown. His name is also in purple and there's a little emblem here. That means he's a historic general, but he's purple. So we're going to pass that up by hitting refresh. Let's see if we can find some regular purple and some regular gold so I can tell you. Okay, here's a regular gold. There's no crown above his um, gold dot. You can see he's gold because of a gold dot and a gold name, but there's no crown. There's no little emblem. You want to pass him up. Do not buy him. He's just regular gold. Let's see if we can get a regular purple. I can show you. Basically, it looks the same as the... Here's a regular purple. Purple name, purple dot. Do not buy. So you only want gold historic. Here's another purple historic. We're just going to pass these. Okay, we finally got a gold historic. So this is what it looks like. You have the little emblem right there. You have the crown above the gold dot, and you have the name, Alexander Nevsky. And it's usually going to be a lot of gold. So if you see a high number, probably. But you don't just want to buy every single gold historic general. There's a lot of them. So even though you're like, oh, I found a gold historic general, don't just jump on it because it may not be a very good gold historic. Remember, you only want to work on generals that um, are going to be very good and help you long term. And, um, you know, there's a lot of gold historic generals out there. So you want to focus on the absolute best ones you can get. So Alexander Nevsky is a good example of one you never, ever mm -hmm. want to buy. Um, he is no good. And so you just simply do not need to, um, or you do not want to buy him whatsoever. Uh, there's a lot of gold historic. That, now you're going to hit confirm that you don't want to, that's just asking, it's basically like, are you sure you want to um, refresh? You know. So if you accidentally hit the refresh button, you can hit cancel. But if you hit it on purpose, just hit confirm. 
Uh, it's just like, you know, something on your computer that says, are you sure you want to continue type of thing. All right, so let's keep going. Hopefully, I don't waste too much gen uh, gems or time because honestly, I want to show you what a good gold historic general works. But here's another gold historic. But this guy's not any good either. Just trust me. I've been playing this enough times. Uh, you're never going to see any experienced player using Peter the Great, okay? Um, so uh, let me keep going here. Hopefully we see um, one that's at least decent so I can tell you an example. But uh, basically, I'll stop for a second to tell you which ones you're going to be looking for. So for mounted, and there's all kinds of opinions, but I'll tell you mine. Um, you want to look for Roland and, um, well, Martinus and Roland, really. Um, uh, Martinus needs a dragon to work properly. Uh, otherwise, you don't get the full buffs. And Roland has the highest buffs without needing any dragon. Actually, he has the highest buffs, period. At total, he has 60% total buffs, whereas Martinus only has 40 even with the dragon, on the regular special skill. But, I mean, ideally, you probably would rather have Roland um, ascended. Uh, but the thing is that then you would have to put Martinus as the assistant, and dragons don't work on assistants. Um, so you can't. You have to put Martinus as the primary. Now, um, another option is Hannibal, but Hannibal doesn't work with Roland. He works with Martinus. So um, you can put Hannibal, but Hannibal's buffs are lower than Roland's. So Roland works with Martinus, Hannibal works with Martinus, but Roland has higher buffs than Hannibal for the regular special skill um, if you're not going to send them and just use them as a assistant. So really you want Martinus and then Roland as the backup. Um, from what I remember uh, from looking into it, this, Roland and Hannibal don't work together, so don't use them together. But yeah, that's basically who you want for mounted. Um, be careful, the mounted troop attack skill book does not work on Martinus. So if you put it on Roland, you cannot use Martinus, um, and you cannot put it on Martinus. So another option I could suggest is maybe using Roland with another mounted general, so that way... You can use the mounted attack buff. Maybe if you get a good mounted general from a package. Um, I recently told a new player to use Roland with Zhao Yun because he, decide, he decided he was going to spend some money. I told him, hey, buy this package. You can get Zhao Yun guaranteed. Zhao Yun is the top, probably top rated mounted general in the game other than I think Mordred is number one, I think. But um, he's hard to get. So Zhao Yun is pretty easy to get. Um, you can get him from the King's Exhibition right now uh, or when it was going on. So in that case, you would use Roland as the primary and then Zhao Yun as the assistant since Roland is found in the tavern. So you can ascend him easier. And because the Mounted Troop Attack skill book works on both of them and you really want that skill book. So if you get Roland and somebody, now he doesn't work with George Custer, so don't put George Custer with um, Roland. Uh, so I would recommend Roland with Zhao Young and Ascending Roland or Custer with Zhao Young if you spend money. But um, yeah, or you could just do Martinus with Roland. But just be careful that they work together. But it, this video is for um, using, uh, th this is for just Tavern Generals. So I'm going into way more detail, but what I was trying to say is if you're just doing the tavern for mounted, you want to use um, probably Martinus with Roland. And then uh, for ground, you want to use, there's really only one even feasible combination. Uh, you're going to want Trojan as the main, and you're going to want Ufi as the assistant uh, from the, uh, the tavern. For ranged, um, you can either get Electra from Relics or you can get Minamoto from the Tavern. And either way, you want to put Nar as the assistant. Uh, the mounted troop, the range, excuse me, the range troop attack skill book does not work on Minamoto. I can't remember if it works on Electra or not. But whatever you're putting skill books, and I, I made a whole video on how to add skill books. So I'm not going to go into that. Go and watch my video about adding skill books. 
to see how they work together. I also made a video about checking to see if generals work together. So there's a video on generals working together and a video on skill books working together. That's a very complicated subject. So please watch the other videos to get more information on that. But I'm just telling you, this. the whole purpose of this video is just to tell you who to look for in the tavern and possible combinations. Um, and then uh, for ranged, oh, that is ranged, I just said. Okay, for siege, honestly, I'm sorry to say this, there's not really very many good siege generals in the tavern. They're all in packages for the most part, the good ones like Patronus, Septimus Servus, um, Napoleon, Philip II, um, Zuka, these are the best siege generals in the game, and they're all package generals. Um, I think, who's the other one? A Simeon the Great or something. But um, you, you really, for siege, there is one option. Uh, his name is Ulysses S. Grant. The only problem with him is that he needs a dragon to be in full effect. And um, if you don't spend money, you're probably just going to get two, maybe three dragons um, in the, and the Celtic Demon is for ranged, and then the Fafnir is for mounted, and then if you do get Wonder Unlocked um, by being really good in PvP and F SVS, um, yeah, you could get the Norway Ridge, but he's that's a ground dragon. So, I mean, even Ulysses S. Grant needs a dragon, and you don't really have a good dragon option if you're using the other ones so really i would say if you're not spending any money at all don't even worry about siege um until way later in the game and hopefully by then you'll have gotten maybe from some free package of some sort you know sometimes you get generals or whatever or maybe you decide to spend some money but yeah you don't really want to focus too much on siege generals if you want to pick up ulysses s grant and put him with just as like a assistant general so you can have a ranged and siege combination. That's a good idea. Maybe put um, either Minamoto or Electra as the primary and then put Ulysses S. Grant as a sec as an assistant just to have a little siege buff if you're doing like a range and siege combination. But honestly, don't focus on siege. And then the other generals you want to pick up, um, I'm almost done. I'll make this fast uh, as this video is getting already long. But um, these are a list of the generals that you want to look for in the tavern. Um, you want to look for um, uh, Queen Jindiak because she's going to give you uh, extra RSS from gathering. Um, you're going to want as many Queen Jindiaks as you have marches for. So eventually you're going to want six because you're going to get up to six but if you don't spend any money you're never going to get the sixth march because it comes from vip and even the fifth march or whichever one comes first it's going to take one of the two marches is going to be in academy level 35 and on the advanced military section so if you don't spend money it's going to take you forever to get either one of those two marches so realistically you're only going to if you don't spend any money you're only going to have four marches so um, really, you just want to have four Queen Jindiaks so you can gather the most possible. Um, and then uh, what else? Okay, you want Bay Bars, especially if you're in a big alliance that does a lot of rallies. You're going to want four Bay Bars. Bay Bars gives you double drop increase rate increases the double drop rate of items from monsters. You don't have to run the rally. You just simply join the rally with one troop. Uh, watch my video on March presets. I tell you how to make a March preset in that video uh, for joining rallies. But join with Bay Bars and watch that video to learn how to do it um, to get extra items from uh, monsters. Now, um, the other generals you want to look for are for what, what we're going to call duty officers. And those are easy to point out. And there's really only one of each duty officer in the tavern. So you don't have to compare and look to see. You're just going to have one option. It's very easy. So, for example, there's going to be one keep officer, one academy officer, one hospital officer, one barracks officer, one stables officer. And it will literally tell you when you click on the general and you click on the little yellow book to see what his skills are. It will tell you exactly what... Um, 
his his skill is and if it says um the general does such and such and such and such when he is the keep officer or when he is the academy officer if you see those words you want to immediately buy that guy in the tavern if you have the gold because you're going to want to put him as a duty officer um you're going to want one there's only one of each in the tavern and not all the buildings have a duty officer in the tavern so um only some buildings have a duty officer. There's like seven or eight of them. I can't remember. But you can get a, get a lot of the good ones in the tavern. Uh, so just look for those. And then the last thing is the wall general. So um, most of the good wall generals are only available in packages. So if you are, if I'm making this video exclusively talking about generals available in tavern, not from any package or any other source or whatever, um, or from any special event, if we're talking just the tavern, um, I would recommend, and I cannot even remember his name. I'm going to have to look him up and rather just show you here. Um, I believe he's under others. I want to show you who's, let me just show you who these generals. Okay. Here, this guy right here, Tran, this guy, um, Tran Hun Dao. Okay, this guy right here, he increases the ground troop HP by 20% and siege machines attack by 30% when general is the main city defense general. The reason why I think he's the best in the tavern overall is because normally you want to build your defense on ground and siege. You don't really build a defense on range and mounted, especially not mounted, but if you you know, just generally speaking, this guy's probably the best in the tavern because he gives you uh, ground and siege, especially a big siege buff. There are other options if you don't make a lot of siege and you make, uh, let's say, um, okay, so Lai Thion Kiet, I wouldn't really use him as a defense general unless all you have is ranged troops. If all you have is ranged troops, he would be a good option because... He increases range troop attack and defense by 30%. But overall, I would not recommend Kiet. Um, I got to find these all these guys. Let me see who else is in the tavern here. So um, as you can see, there's so many. Okay, so Queen Badika, I personally use her. The reason why is because she... Um, because I'm primarily a monster hunter, I mainly just make mounted troops. So yeah, you don't want to set up a defense on mounted. I'm setting up my account with mounted and siege. Um, but that's not an ideal situation. It's just that because I need mounted for monsters. Um, if you are a monster hunter and that's what you want to do in this game and you don't really care so much about PvP, even though I do PvP, but that's not my primary Thing that I like to do so I don't really make a whole lot of ranged or you know ground troops but at least this gives you a ground troop and mounted troop buff as well as a 30% mounted troop attack buff so if you have almost all your troops are mounted you're going to want Queen Badika as the primary and then you're probably going to want siege to kill the ranged troops before they actually kill your mounted troops so then you're going to want that Trong Da Hong Dao or however you say his name um, as the, the backup. Uh, if you're like me and a monster hunter, I would recommend Bodika with the Dao guy, Tran Dao, whatever his name is, um, with a mounted siege combination. Um, Bodika and Tran Dao. Now, there are some other options. There are, um, uh, let's see here. Okay, Robert the Bruce is a good one for ground troops. If you have a lot of ground troops, you can use him. Um, He's good. Let's see here. Um, there's another guy. I think his name is Kusunoku, and I want to show you if I can find him. Okay, here we go. So Kusunoku is good if you have mounted a lot of mounted and ranged troops. Not ideal because you really don't want to set up a defense on mounted and range, like I just said earlier. So I wouldn't really use Kusunoku. Honestly, unless you just literally just have mounted and ranged troops and that's it. But I, other than that, I wouldn't really recommend him. Um, and then, 
uh, what are the other options here so there is so yeah basically Robert the Bruce and Kiet and Kusunoku I wouldn't really recommend I would recommend Budika with Tran Hung Dao or if you get like a package general and actually there's one last thing that I didn't mention is sub city general so um uh that that's something that you really don't have to worry about until you're a larger account because you until your subsidies get to a reasonable level they're not going to really do much for you but they help so i mean you're going to want these sub generals eventually so um but if you only there's a lot of good sub generals in the in packages of course again but again if you're just doing um tavern only let's say you want to get all your generals from the tavern um, and make it easy to ascend them because again you can ascend your generals a lot easier if they're in the tavern because you can get them for free you're going to need um, a bunch of copies like tons of copies of them to get them the five star awakened status so and lots of blood of air so it will take a long time but it's easier to get them for free in the tavern than buying packages to get a chance to get them it's very expensive so the top um Sub city, subordinate city, if you don't know what I mean by sub, is subordinate city. Uh, generals in the tavern, in my opinion, the number one is Arminius. In the tavern, I believe he is the top sub general in the tavern. Um, so here, Arminius. Um, he reduces enemy ground troop and mounted troop HP by 10%, as well as the enemy range troop and siege machine attack by 15%. This is why I think he's the best in the tavern. He gives you a 15% debuff on enemy range troop and siege machine attack both. And as you know, most P as you might not know, but most PVPers you that are going to attack you are going to use ranged and siege. Um, so. Basically, he really helps protect. Besides Arminius, another great one is Harold. Um, Harold reduces all of your enemy troops' attack by 10%, as well as all enemy troops' hit HP by 10%. So he will protect you from any type of troops. So Harold, Arminius, um, the other good ones. Uh, Baldwin is very good, but he's only... Um, available in packages. Mark Anthony is very good, but he's only available in packages. Um, another one is Margaret. She's not so good, but she's available in the tavern. And if you have nothing else, um, that's still pretty decent. So she reduces enemy troop attack by 10% and mounted troop attack by 20%. Not so great. Definitely not as good as um, Arminius or even as Harold, but um, still pretty decent. And another one that is pretty good is, or very good, I should say, is Andrew Jackson. Um, he reduces enemy range troop attack by 20% and mounted troop HP by 20%. So um, let's look at what my sub generals are so you can see. So I have Andrew Jackson, Andrew Jackson, both available in the tavern, Arminius, tavern. Harold, Tavern, Margaret, Margaret, Tavern, Arminius, and then Baldwin. I actually have another copy of Baldwin, but I don't have all the skill books on him that, that I need. Eventually, when I get all the skill books, I will replace one of the Margarets with Baldwin. But really, um, Arminius, Margaret, Harold, Andrew Jackson, those are the only four that I would buy in the Tavern. I would stay away from Margaret unless you can't just get more uh, Andrew Jackson's and Arminius's, which I just haven't gotten. So I wish I had all, uh, I wish I had Arminius instead of Margaret. It's just, again, new account. Eventually I'll probably replace them. If you do get a sub general from a package, Baldwin the fourth and Mark Anthony are very good. But anyway, this video has gone very long, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew exactly what generals you should be looking for in the tavern as a player that spends no money.